What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a weakness policy Dialga team that also features Assault Vest Kyogre and we got Thunderous with Volt. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of you guys today to subscribe to the Gene channel. It really helps me grow as a content creator. So I really do appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. But before we get started with today's team preview, I got two things to announce. One, I want to give a huge shout out to the content creator, or not the content creator, the team creator for this team right here. Terrence Day, thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody. Huge shout out to you. We'll be leaving all of his socials down in the description below. And two, your boy is going to be streaming over on the Short Circuit Gaming Twitch channel this Wednesday, which is actually tomorrow by the time this goes out. But I will be also streaming on that uh on that channel multiple different times. So if you guys are interested in catching some streams from me, head down link in the description below. Go to the Short Circuit Gaming uh, Twitch channel, hit that follow button, and turn on notifications over there. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Kyogre, probably one of the best restricted mods for this series. We got Drizzle alongside with the Soul Vest to make us a bit more bulkier on the special defense side. And then we got Water Spout, Ice Beam, Scald, and Thunder. So this thing is all about attack. And it is a great Dynamax Pokemon. But if we don't want to Dynamax him, it's definitely powerful as well. You guys already know that. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be our second restricted mod. It is going to be the Algorithm Pressure and Weakness Policy. Protect Trick Room for, you know, Trick Room purposes. And then we got Flash Cannon and Roar Time, both for Stab. So once we get that proc, uh, policy proc, which we can do with Incineroar, we can just roll out with a uh, Dynamax Dialga. Really bulky, really can hit like a truck, so I cannot wait to use that Pokemon. Middle left is going to be another Pokemon that's going to work so well in Dynamax form. It's going to be Thunderous with a Volt Absorb and Life Orb. It's got Protect, it's got Grass Knot, Thunder for Stab, and then last but not least, it's Rock and Weather Ball in case, you know, Kyogre comes in here, we can change it to Max Geyser, or if they have a different Pokemon with different weather, we can change it into that weather. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Incineroar, and this Incineroar is definitely different from most Incineroars because it's here to actually proc the August Weakness Policy. We got Intimidate, we got the Shuka Berry, and then we got Fake Out, Parting Shot, Flare Blitz for Stab, and then Brick Break to proc the policy and take out screens at the same time, so really is a great move. Cannot wait to pair up that Incineroar with this Dialga. Bottom left is going to be our support Tornados with Prankster Focus Ash, who can also proc policy on our Dialga. We got Brick Break on him as well. We got Tailwind for Speed Control, Taunt to Taunt, Opposing Support Mods, and then last but not least, we're rocking Hurricane, which, which hits 100% of the time in the rain with Kyogre. So, really good combos with the Kyogre Tornados, or just going Tornados and Dialga. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Latias over here with that Eject Button and Levitate. Another Pokemon for good speed control. We got Tailwind on him, Protect, Ally Switch, Protect, Ally Pokemon. And last but not least, Mystical Fire, which is a great coverage move because it drops special attack every time it hits. So if we're going up against a big special attack team, you best know that I'm bringing my boy Latias or my girl Latias over here. But guys, there's a team preview. If you guys want to rent this code for yourself, the rental code is shown at the bottom of the screen. But you guys know the deal. Let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this weakness policy Dialga team let's get rolling here ladies and gentlemen hopping into our first battle for today's video going up against an ice rider calyrex trick room team with porygon 2 palkia roboom amoongus and incineroar so he's gonna try to get off trick room i might want to lead uh Dialga could be a solid lead i kind of do dig lead Dialga because we do have trick room to kind of counteract this trick room and we might have to make the hard read on that or i can just go into a pokemon like you because i do have taunt on tornas don't i do have Taunt on this Pokemon, right? Yeah, I do have Taunt. So I'm kind of leaning towards Tornadus as a nice little lead. Go Tornadus alongside with a Pokemon, maybe like Kyogre, just to get off a Water Spout. But if he leads a Pokemon like Amoongus, that could be a little bit of a pain for us. And he can just like kind of like Rage Powder out from there. But I'm going to go Tornadus alongside with uh, maybe Incineroar here. He has no Terrain Control either. Or not not Terrain, uh, Psychic Terrain. So you know what? I'm going to go Incineroar, Tornadus. Try to get off that Fake Out. Bring Kyogre and Dialga in the back end. And then just roll from there. I'm kind of digging that. I'm kind of digging that. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But this one seems like it's going to be tough. It seems like it's going to be tough. But before the first battle even starts, you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What Pokemon do you want to have a regional form in Gen 9? Any Pokemon that you feel like that should have a regional form in Gen 9. I feel like Excadrill could be a really cool Pokemon to throw one. I feel like that could definitely be sick. Let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But he's going to end up going Rollboom alongside with P2. And at this point... um. I'm just going to taunt the P2 and fake out the the P2. I think I double down into the P2. And the reason I say that, the reason I say that is in case he wants to fake out my, uh, in case he wins the speed battle here. Which I think he does. He does win the speed battle because his, uh, I don't know if that's how it works. Because his ability came out first. So I'm going to double down into the P2 with a taunt and a, uh, 
a taunt and a fake out just in case his roll boom outspeeds my uh my because i don't want i don't want to go for a fake out onto his roll boom with my incineroar because if his roll boom goes first he can just fake out my tornadus and then he can just easily have to trick him up so i'm just gonna do this he's gonna fake me out bang and this is exactly why i want to do that so beautiful turn by me i'm gonna fake out him and then we can just easily taunt him next turn and go into a flare blitz if we want to it's probably my play right flare blitz taunt kind of digging it kind of digging it Kind of digging it, and he still doesn't know I'm rocking taunt, so he might be going for another one. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna flare butts here. Drop a nice, lovely flare butts because if I can get rid of roll boom and have Kyogre in the back end after I taunt it, trick room, that could be good. That could be solid for us. That could definitely be good. So let's see how this one plays out here. I'm gonna taunt him. I'm gonna say, Hey, yo, knock it off. You're not allowed to do any of your nonsense. Get him on out of here. He's gonna end up going for a U turn, which is a smart play. I should have probably party shot it knowing that he was faster than me. There's probably rocking maybe U turn. That's fine. He's going to U-turn out and probably go into maybe like Calyrex or something. Probably not now. More so maybe Palkia. Yeah, Palkia does come out here. So Palkia is going to get uh, funneled out here. And I think at this point, I just uh, maybe Tailwind and Party Shot. Might have to be my play. Probably Tailwind Party Shot. So he's going to be able to soak this one up easily. Look at that. Look how easy he soaks it up. We do basically nothing. And I think he's going to go for a Trick Room here, right? Yeah, he was looking for a Trick Room. And yeah, I'm going to have to Party Shot here. Nice, lovely parting shot into probably Ogre. I don't know. Do we do, do we go into Ogre here? I would rather go into Dialga, but the parting shot could be a little tough on us. And the reason I say that is because... Is because if we parting shot into, say, Dialga, he could just max Geyser us. And that could really do us dirty. But if we go into Kyogre, we give him that rain. And if he's going for Geyser anyway, it's still going to be able to do a ridiculous amount of damage. So we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see. But I think he might Dynamax Palkia. So this minus one with a parting shot could be good for us. It could definitely be good for us. But this is going to be a solid battle all around, I feel like. I think this is just like solid turns right here. Definitely should have parting shot last turn. That could have been the play of the year. Could have been the play of the year. So he is going to end up Dynamaxing. This is lovely little Palkia. And we're just going to tailwind. We're going to be able to outspeed. We're going to get off a parting shot before it can even move. So yeah. My question is, uh, we're probably gonna have to go into our, our uh, our Kyogre, because we do have the Soul Fest on him, and that can work really well for us. Nice and lovely Soul Fest. Nice, lovely Soul Fest. And then after the rain comes out here, we can 100% Hurricane all day. So we're gonna end up going for a nice, lovely Tailwind. Set that up, let the Parting Shot fly out here. Get after it. Yeah, we out of here. Minus one on Special Attack, so that's huge. That's huge. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into Kyogre here. I just feel like Kyogre's my play. I'm scared of that rain going into Dialga. I kind of want to uh, Dynamax the Alga later in the match. So I'm just going to go into Kyogre. We do have that Soul Fest. It's going to work pretty well for us. And then if he doesn't go into Kyogre, we're sitting there with full HP with Water Spout Ranger Roll. But yeah, I think he is going for a uh, a Geyser into my slot. Hmm. Let's see what he does. Let's see his dude's play. He's going to end up going for a Worm Wind. Okay, he's Worm Winding over into Kyogre. And Kyogre's able to soak that really well. Really, really well. He gets the minus one on attack. We're both physical attackers, so that's a fine Dynamax turn to waste. It's a fine Dynamax turn to waste. P2's gonna go next, and P2's kinda scary. Maybe he's rocking an Ice Beam into my Tornadus. Let's see what he's doing. He's gonna go Shadow Ball. He's just rolling Shadow Ball with the coverage, which is pretty cool. Which is really, really cool. Um, I kinda wanna worry about this P2, because I don't want to allow him to set up Trick Room. So I just feel like double down into P2 at this point is probably one of our best bets. Because he is still Taunted, right? He still has a couple turns left in Taunt. Let's see. Go up to him. He has one more turn left in Taunt. So we gotta get off some damage here. I could Brick Break. What's gonna do more? Brick Break? Or Hurricane? Brick Break is two times super effective, but this is Stab. And it's going to land, and we have a chance to compete. So, you know, I'm going to go with that. And I'm just going to Scald here. Like I said, I want to get off as much damage as I possibly can off this P2 and get after his Pokemon. We're going to end up withdrawing P2. Okay. The withdrawal is P2. He's going to go to Calyrex at this point. And we are doubled down into him, so this isn't a bad turn for us. This is not a bad turn whatsoever. This is not a bad... Maybe thought I was just, like, kind of, like, going after Palkia. But now, yo, we, we tackling this thing. We're trying to get after this thing. I'm going to chip up some damage with that. Give me the ducks. Give me the ducks. Of course, I, I never get the ducks. Skull's going to come through and can, can Skull pick up the KO? That's some big damage. Give me the burn, though. No burn, no ducks. Ouch, man. Ouch. No burn, no ducks. Should be able to eat this up, too, which is really good for us. Look at that. Easy soaks. He is going to get that special defense boost. And at this point, uh, what's that play? Because he might protect that Calyrex, so I don't want to double down into him. I really don't want to. I really do not want to double down into him. I might go for the ducks on the Palkia and just waste out these uh turns here. 
Skull should still be able to take out that Calyrex, no problem. Skull should be able to do that. I'm going to go for a Hurricane here. Try to get the Ducks on the Palkia. And I'm just going to keep throwing a Skull over on this slot. See what he does. He's going to end up protecting. Yep, Calyrex. That's totally fine. Good thing I didn't double down into him. And maybe, just maybe, get these Ducks here. These Ducks could be gorgeous. These Ducks could be gorgeous. Yes, we get the Ducks. Waste of Dynamax turn. Waste of Dynamax turn. If we can waste a Dynamax turn here, this could be ridiculously huge. This could be enormous. So the Ducks are out and about. Hate yourself. Of course he doesn't. He's going to be able to send off a Geyser. He's going to take out my uh, Tornadus. And it's going to be... He's going to be gone. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, from here? I just feel like we bring out Incineroar. We bring out Incineroar here. Just so we can fake out Palkia and take out Calyrex. Not a bad turn if we do that. Or do I bring out my Dialga and Dynamax my Dialga? Dynamax and Dialga could be gorgeous here. Could be a lovely little set. Yeah, I think we take advantage of this and get our Dynamax out here. And save Incineroar for the back. Because Incineroar is going to be good for countering up that Roboom late game. So I'm just going to bring out Dialga now. We're going to get after this. This is such a good battle. So we still have the P2 in the back. And Calyrex is really low on HP. Uh, Tailwind is gone, right? Tailwind is gone. But I still feel as doing this is a play. Right? Bang. And then Scald. Right into that. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. So we now we can finally go Dynamax. We do still have Weakness Policy, which could work well on Dialga. But I feel like we're sitting in such a good position because we just kind of wasted out his Dynamax turns. And we got rid of that Trick Room. So our only problem here is if he can get off a Trick Room. But I just don't see that happening. Right? He doesn't have anything that's going to take me out. Like, his Calyrex is going to go last. Palkia might go before the Dialga or the Kyogre, but we should be able to eat up anything unless he goes for a Spatial Ren and gets a crit on my Kyogre. That's the only way he's picking up the KO, but I think we're thriving. I really do. I really do. So, now we finally get off our Dynamax. He doesn't have Dynamax. If I can get rid of these Pokemon here, we should be fine. And I feel like he has to swap a Pokemon out if he wants to have a fighting chance here. So, we'll see what he wants to do. I can't rid of this Calyrex. That could be so big. So, Sk Skull's can come out here first. That should pick up the KO. No problem, right? Let's just say see you later. Cool. Calyrex out of the picture. Beautiful. I think Palkia is looking for a Trick Room here. Right? I think he is. So, hopefully this Wormwind can actually pick up the KO. I do not know. He is plus one on Special Defense. And it picks up the KO. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's going to be GG's. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. That is GG's all day. Tailwind's gone. That's totally fine. That is G to the G's. Right? It's definitely not Um, he's gonna go in the roll boom. And he could fake me out. He could grassy glide. Uh I think I just keep the attack pressure on. Start getting defense boost. Go after P2, maybe? Or do I just go after roll boom? I think I'm just gonna go after roll boom because I do have brick break on my uh on my other Pokemon. On my other little mon. He could go for a trick room on his own terms. I feel like we should be fine, I really do. I really do feel like we should be fine here. So I'm just going to go for this. And then I'm just going to go for, I guess, an Ice Beam if we can. We don't have Protect, which kind of stinks. Which kind of stinks. So if Roboom goes down here, Roboom goes down. Or well, not Roboom. Tiger. And he, he thinks I was protecting. I don't even have Protect. That just that just solidified it. That <laughs> just solidified it that he didn't go into my Kyogre. He thought I had Protect and I was looking for a Protect. We're going to send an Ice Beam, do half of his health. And then Wormwind's going to fly through here. Clean this one up. Say bye-bye, Rillaboom. Get him on out of here. My boy Dialga is thriving in battle number one. Absolutely thriving. We make that P2 minus one. We drop it. Actually, actually, it's normal now because the guy that downloaded got that attack boost. Now he's just going to roll out with his moves and he's going to pop a trick. It's over with, dude. You stand no chance. You stand no chance here. Little P2. Little P2. You stand no chance. Not one chance. Not one chance. But, yo, that, honestly, that just solidified the battle. <laughs> he thought our Kyogre was going to protect, so we grass got into my Dialga. We ended up not even having protect, so we couldn't even done it. I probably would have done it if that was the case. But it wasn't the case. <laughs> so that just happened. No, so that works perfectly. So that works perfectly. He's going to end up canceling the battle. And there it is. 1-0 for today's video. First battle went perfectly. Just perfectly. We're hopping into our second battle. Looking to go back to back and guarantee yourselves a winning record for today's video. We are going up against a Lugia team. Always fun to go up against cool off-meta restricted mods like Lugia. Alongside with Kyogre. And then he has a Rillaboom, Grimmsnarl, Umbreon, who is definitely very, very powerful and very bulky at the same time. And last but not least, he's got that lovely Landorus who is great in Dynamax form. But uh, I feel like Thunderous right here is a must bring. I wish he did have a flying move because that would be absolutely wonderful if he did. Because just, just like, dude... 
flying moves are the best. They are the best in Dynamax Four. But I might lead the Thunders and get rolling out with him. Might go Thunders alongside with maybe Tornadus. Double down with these group, or I can go in with you because he does have a lot of special attackers on the field. He does have a lot of special attackers, or I could go Incineroar. What's your speed at? What's your speed at Thunders? How much speed? And one sixty. I mean, he does have a few Pokemon that might be a bit faster. But uh, I think I'm gonna go Tornadus or Latias. I think I'm gonna go Latias with that Jack button, and then bring Kai Ogre and Thialga in the back end. Right? I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm with it. Let's let's run it. Let's run it. So the one thing that we have to watch out for is the hard swap in the landers. That is definitely gonna be a problem for us, which we do not like. We do not like. Because say say we're looking to hit up on Dialga or or not Dialga, hit up on Lugia or Kai Ogre with an electric move, he can easily hard swap into Landers, make that hard read, and just uh dodge a dodge a move. So he's gonna go Lugia and Umbreon. So Lugia and Umbreon are gonna poke out here. Um Okay. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. At this point, I feel like speed's already on our side, so I might just mystical fire drop that uh Latias. And I might not even dynamax here. Could he go straight for Thunder? Uh, let me see your speed, Latias. You should be faster than uh, you should be faster than that that uh Tornadus, right? It is by one speed. That is lovely. That actually works wonders for me because actually we are special attacking. Uh, that works wonders for me because I can just straight up max lightning, which I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do and just knock off multi scale because I can definitely see a Dynamax come out here. So he is multi scale. So we're gonna have to get off a of first shot. So that's gonna work well for Latias to actually do this. The Lottie asking go for a mystical fire. We're just hoping he's not going to swap. We have to watch out for maybe to swap next turn. But we'll see. We shall see. So we're going to straight up Dynamax this thing. Hopefully he's not going for that, that hard swap early on. I don't I don't think he is. I really do not. I really do not see him making the being able to make that read right off the rip. With Lugia on the field. We'll see. No, he does not. Cool. So mystical fire is going to poke out here. He's going to go minus one and we are going to take off multi scale, which is huge. We are going to be able to get off a life orb shot with max lightning. So that's a huge turn for us. It's a big turn for us. Even though this Lugia is rather bulky, we get rid of it. Turn one. Turn one, get it on out of here. So that's really, really good for us. And we get terrain. And we grant terrain. So as long as this thing isn't really going for snarls, we could be chilling. We could be chilling. So let's see what he does. Please, no snarls. Leave me alone. He's going to yawn me. Okay, so he yawns me. I do have terrain, but wait, don't I have to be on the ground for terrain to work? And I'm like floating. <laughs> so that could be a little tough. He might protect his turn. He is going to go into Lando. And I think he is going to Dynamax Lando. So at this point, uh, hmm. At this point, what do I do? I could slow him down with a max strike, which wouldn't be bad. Which wouldn't be a bad turn. I could change up terrain, but, uh, hmm. Hmm. Electric train's nice. Come on, on the ground. Dang, dude. I'm not on the ground. <laughs> That's rough. That is rough. I am drowsy. I am drowsy. I could hard swap him, but I just don't feel like hard swapping Splite. I'd rather get off my last turn of a Dynamax. And I might just max strike. Just slow down this guy just a little bit. Just to be able to bring out my Kyogre when I need him. I could ally switch here too. And yeah, that's going to be my play. That is going to be my play. I'm going to ally switch here. I'm going to ally switch. Slow down that thing. Hopefully the landers or somebody hits my, uh, hits my Latias. We eject button out and next turn we get thriving. Next turn, we get the ride with Kyogre. We can water spout right down the lane. Pretty much just pick up some chaos. Because with this thing being minus one in speed, that could be a great turn for us. It really could be. So not too bad. Not too bad. God dang yawn, man. God dang yawn in the electric train. Only if I was on the ground. Only if I was on the ground. So I'm going to switch this turn. I'll say, hey, yo, let's switch up this lane here. Hopefully he's going into that slot now. We'll see what he wants to do. Here comes a max strike. We're going to minus one, which is gorgeous. Maybe he's going for an airstream, but I don't really see that happening, right? I feel like he's rocking a rock move and he wants to drop it onto my, my uh, Thunderous, right? That might be the call. Hopefully he's doing that. We do not want the airstream. Leave my airstream alone. He does go for the airstream. That's a little rough. Is he going after Latias? He was going after this slot, so this actually works a little bit better. Because now we're in this dude's head with all these uh, airstreams. I'm just going to have to keep Max Strike in here. It's going to have to be my play. Max Strike's going to have to be my play all day. Lovely little Max Strike. He's going to end up going for a Snarl, and that's going to eject button me out. So that eject button buttons me out. Uh, I still feel like going into Kyogre might be a play call. Because I really do not want to go after this uh, this Landers with a Dialga. Because he can just quake me. But I feel like that's going to be our play. Is he go straight into over here. What's your speed, Ogre? What is your speed, Kai? Kyogre, 139. Okay, so Landers is definitely faster than you. Uh, you should be faster than that uh, Umbreon. But I don't think Water Spout's going to be the play. 
I think straight up Skull in this ring could be the play. I think it should be able to take him out. So I kind of want to go after like uh, Umbreon here. Oh, I'm actually asleep. I totally forgot I was going to sleep. That's fine. I might double down to me. But actually, Ice Beam should do more. This means four times super effective. I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam over onto you. Then if I can, if I can, I'll go for Max Lightning. If I can, I'll go for Max Lightning. I'm slumped. He's gonna go next with Lando, and Lando's gonna end up going for an Airstream. He gets the speed, doing some damage on the Ogre, but more importantly, oh wow, that did a lot more damage. Did a lot more damage than I thought it would. And now Umbreon might be faster than me. Kyra, can you go next, please? Can you go next, please? Kyra, go next. Do him dirty. Thank you, Kyber. We drop an Ice Beam. We're going to be able to drop Landorus. No problem. All right, cool. So Landorus is gone. We have two of his Pokemon gone. If I can get my Thunders to wake up maybe next turn, we could be sitting pretty. But I think he might go for a Snarl, and my Kyogre might be able to eat up a Snarl. Let's see. He's going to end up yawning. So why, oh, we're pre protected by the Strain. I was going to say, why is he yawning my Thunders again? <laughs> but nah, yo, Kyogre eats that up. That's a gorgeous turn, and now he's going to go into an Ogre of his own, which is rather scary, which is honestly scary. Because my Dynamax is over. And dude, if my Thunders can wake up here, it's we're sitting so good. If my Thunders can wake up here, we are sitting so good. Obviously, I want to go for a Thunder here. And I want to roll a Thunder on him. I could go for the Protect, but Protect wouldn't do anything. If we wake up, we wake up. So I'm going to go for this with Thunder. It comes down to us waking up or not. Wake up, Thunders. No! Dang, yeah, we don't wake up. He's going to be able to drop a Water Spout. That's going to be easy GG's. Easy GG's. Yawn doing us dirty. Actually, not even Yawn doing us dirty. The fact that Thunderous is a flying type doing is dirty, because if he wasn't, we wouldn't have went to sleep. We wouldn't have went to sleep. That's rough. That is real rough. That's going to end up happening. We're going to have to bring out Dialga here, and Dialga doesn't really fare too well up against a lot of, uh, both these guys. It's not like he can like come in here and sweep. Oh, we solved a lot of us. I totally forgot. I forgot we had the eject button Pokemon. Okay. Now we now we have a little fighting chance here. Now, now we have a fighting chance. So I could obviously Tailwind take speed control, but I feel like just dropping a Mystical Fire and dropping that thing to minus one could be good too. So, that going on, I could pop a trick room. I really want to go for war time though, but war time really don't do much. War time really don't do much. I'm going to have to go for it anyway. I'm doubling down this ogre. I'm doubling down into this Kyogre. How much can war time really do? He's going to protect. Son of a biscuit, man. <laughs> he protects, yo. So, we could have set up a tailwind and got that, uh, got that speed roll for us. That could have definitely been our play. And he just snarls me. Mm. Can he proc my policy or something? That's what I need. It's a crit on my Latios, too. Double special attack drop on two special attackers. That is rough. That is as rough as it gets. That is as rough as it gets. As rough as it gets. Okay. So I'm going to have to tailwind here. I'm going to tailwind here. I'm going to tailwind in war time. I'm going to play all day. God dang snarl, man. <laughs> God dang snarl. So we're gonna tailwind. We're gonna try to get a little fighting chance here. Let's see how this one plays. A little tailwind action. We buzzing. Hopefully Dialga maybe can get a crit here. He is minus one. He is minus one, but that's why the crit would be beautiful. More time coming in hot. How much damage is doing? Not too bad. Not too bad. Water spout's gonna fly. Both my Pokemon should be able to soak this up pretty well. And Umbreon's just gonna snarl us to death. So Kyogre can't oh not Kyogre. Uh Dialga cannot move. Another crit on Latias. Get out of my face. So Dialga cannot move. Dialga cannot move. This is no bueno. We need crits. We need crits. <laughs> we need some crits here. Rain is going to stop. That is going to benefit us a little bit, but this is not looking good for us. I got ally switch. He's probably just going to drop an origin pulse at this point. So I'd rather just go for that and go, for, go from there. The only problem with this Dialga's moveset. It's like he doesn't fare well up against Kyogre. Kyogre can soak up a lot. He's going to end up protecting Kyogre. And he's just going to keep snarling me. That's his play all day. Umbreon's coming back to bite us. I don't think I touched his Umbreon all game. I was kind of focusing on other Pokemon. He's going to snarl. Latias dodges it. We're going to hope that my boy can crit here. If my boy can crit here, we could. But that should be sitting in a solid spot. Can we crit? Can we get a nice little crit? We're going to have to rely on this crit. And Mystical Fire over on this slot. Rely on the crit, yo. Come on, crit. <laughs> Come on, crit. All day, baby. All day we need this crit. Mystical Fire is going to fly over here. We're going to get a special attack drop on you. And look how much damage that thing just soaks. War time coming in hot. Give me the crit. Give me the crit. Give me the crit. Take him out. Nope. No crit. Origin Pulse is going to fly. We aren't going to dodge. Yago's going to dodge. And Latias is going to go down. But yeah, that's GG's. That is GG's because I, I have to recharge this turn. Actually, we survived that. But he's going to snarl on me. 
Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna snarl. Yeah, that's that's all he has to do. He just has to snarl me to death. God dang special attackers. But yeah, if I, if my boy would have woke up that turn, that could have been huge because then Kyogre would have been down. And if it was a 2v1 up against this thing, we would have had this thing in the bag. We would have had it in the bag. But that's gonna be GG's. We're gonna be one and one for today's video. He's gonna take me out here, no problem, right? Because I can't even I can't even hit the run button. It just goes straight to communicating, and he's just gonna send moves onto me. He's gonna send straight moves onto me. That's GG's. Wow, we brought that Kyogre low, man. We brought him low. We brought him so low. That god dang yawn. That yawn doing me dirty. Origin Pulse gonna fly here. Did that take me out? It probably not, actually, right? Yeah, it does not take me out. But we might get one more turn out here. He's gonna yawn me. How dare you? Just rub it in my face, yo. God dang, Umbreon. So good with the snarls and the yawns. It's just really, really good. And then it's super bulky with leftovers. And it, it, you, we're usually not rocking a bug Pokemon to really take that thing out. But luckily, he doesn't kill my Dialga. We get the run. We get to keep him alive. And we go one on one. We can hop into our third and look for that winning record. Final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against a Kyogre and you felt the team with Regilecki and Cinnamore. Storm Drink Ashdown, which you definitely have to watch out for. And then last but not least, he is rocking that Tornado. So I think Thunderous is going to be great here up against a few of these Pokemon. Super effective on the Kyogre, super effective on the Yvelta. We do have Bolt Absorb for that Regilecki. And then we have Grass Knight. And it's super effective on that Thunder. So yeah, I'm leading him. We're getting ripping with him. I'm going to go him. I kind of want to go Latias here. I don't want to give Latias another shot here. Or do I go Tornado at this point? Tornadus isn't too shabby. Do I have Protect on Tornadus? I don't think I do. I do not have Protect on Latias either. But I do have Ally Switch. I do indeed have Ally Switch, which isn't too shabby. And Mystical Fire. But Tornadus is just so nice. He nice with it. I'm going to go Latias though. I do like Latias, especially with all these special attackers. Let's go Latias. Latias, Dialga, Kyogre, run it. Run it. So same squad as last time. We're not even actually going to be showing off the weakness policy proccing of the Dialga. The first battle was just like we didn't have to. Second battle, I tried something like this. And this battle is just looking too too good for Thunders, right? It's looking way too good for Thunders. Looking way too good for him. So I'm going to end up leading the Thunders. I'm going to probably Dynamax him right off the rip. We have so many Pokemon we can kind of just like get after. He's going to end up leading here. Yvelta alongside with that. Okay. So we can definitely Tailwind. I can Tailwind here as well. But his Tailwind's going to come out first. And that's a problem for us. So I might have to Max Guard just first turn. I don't know if I should, should max guard this first turn. Could definitely go into this. Lightning. To that slot. But he is looking scary. That Yvelta is looking super scary. The Yvelta is looking super scary. I'm going to go for Tailwind on my own. Maybe we can get this off. Ooh. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, that's going to be tough. I'm going to try because he's going to get off his Tailwind first. And now the problem is if he goes for a Darkness into my uh, Latias. That's going to be a problem. And we, do we straight up outspeed? Yeah, I think we outspeed his Shivelta right now. But he's going to Tailwind and we're going to have a problem. And we're going to have a problem. But I still got a Dynamax Pokemon to get after. He definitely has to focus Sash on Tornadus. I'd rather get after his Shivelts. This lovely little Shivelts. So let's see how this one plays out here. He's got to be Dynamax. He does not. He goes for a straight Icy Wind. So he goes for Icy Wind for Speed Control. That's fine. We get off this Tailwind. We get off this Tailwind. Please get off the Tailwind. Oh, we have a Jack Bun. I totally forgot. So a Jack Bun's gonna come out here. Um, hmm. At this point, I could go into Kyogre or I could go into here. I'm gonna go into Ogre here. Just pose a little threat. Just pose a little threat on the field. So I'm gonna go Ogre. And this Lightning should be able to take out this, uh, Chibelta, no problem, right? It's not that Max. He's gonna outspeed me. He's just gonna snarl. God dang, snarl me. He's gotta go. He's got to go. He's got to go. He has got to go. He has got to go. Please take him out here. Please take him out. We cannot allow him to get another turn. Lightning's going to fly through here. And this thing soaks. This thing soaks. Come on, man. Even with a minus one, we weren't taking anything out. Definitely a little rough. Definitely a little rough. Okay, so from here, he's probably going to maybe tailwind. Maybe go into something else. But I'm just going to uh, go into this. Deal damage on that slot. And I really want to water spout. Or I could thunder. Water spout's looking nice. Water spout is looking nice. I'm gonna go for a water spout. I am gonna go for this water spout. And I wonder what he's gonna do here. Not enough what's rolling you. So water spout's flying. And what's he going for with uh tornadoes? Maybe a tailwind? He's gonna go Gashodon. Hate you, Gashodon. Hurricane's gonna fly through here. That's fine. We we are gonna be able to take out the what's called though. Which is a good turn for us. We are gonna be able to take out the uh the tornadoes, which is a great turn for us. Really great turn for us. 
And we're gonna be able to take out Tornadus no problem. And then if I can land a, a max overgrowth, that could be great here as well. Lightning's gonna fire. Uh, send it. You're gone. So we get rid of you. We are minus one, but dude, if we can get off this max overgrowth, that could be a huge turn for us. That could be a huge turn for us. But who's he gonna throw out here? Probably uh not the Yvelta. I don't see the Yvelta coming back out here. And if it is, that's okay. I mean I could drop a thunder into that slot with my Kyogre. And then just overgrowth this next slot. He's gonna go into Ogre of his own, which is probably gonna Dynamax. I think it's something a little scary. I go for the overgrowth. I gotta go for it. I gotta go here and I gotta go here. That's gotta be my place. Probably Dynamaxing. It's looking scary. That's looking scary. That Kyogre right there is looking scary. We're gonna end up outspeeding. Ooh, we outspeed that thing. Give me a paralyze. Give me a para. Give me a para. Give me a para. Give me a para. No paralyze comes out here. And overgrowth is gonna be able to fly. Wow, we have speed up against this guy. Even though we're both minus one. Overgrowth flies through here. Is that KO? It does. Beautiful. So minus or four times super effective. Picks up a huge KO. I'm surprised he didn't Dynamax it. Surprised he didn't Dynamax. So now he has Yabelta and Kyogre left. I think he's looking to go for a uh a spout here. Which in that case, we might be able to eat this up. Did deal some damage on him. Kyogre eats, but Thunderous does not. But Thunderous does not. Okay, so we could go for uh probably our best bet is just goes to a tailwind with uh Latias. Get some speed. And then just thunder out because he is gonna dynamax one of these Pokemon. He's gonna dynamax one of his mods. It might be Ogre. It's looking scary, dude. Ogre's looking scary. Latias gotta come out here. Or do we go with Dialga? No, we gotta take some speed. We have to take some speed here. Tailwind has to come out here and we have to get our speed up. We have to get our lovely little speed up. Okay. If he doesn't get Belta, who is he gonna dynamax? I feel like Kai Ogre poses a bigger threat than these guys, right? Iger just seems like he poses a bigger threat, so I feel like going into this to one of these guys, right? Mm. Who's he Dynamaxing? He's not a Dynamax. Ogre just poses a bigger threat, too, so I want to get rid of this Ogre. My Dialga really can't do anything, but he could definitely win this battle here. This battle's super, super close. Yo, come on. I want the winning record, baby. I wish I would have got the Paralyze on the Ogre last turn, but maybe we'll get it this turn. He's going to end up Dynamaxing the Yvelta. The Yvelta's going to end up getting the Dynamax. Okay. I see you. I see you. He ends up dying. I'm actually about to probably going for airstreams. Trying to get some speed on the board. But Tailwind should come out here first, right? Latias should go first. Latias goes. He's not protecting Kyogre, which is a huge turn for us. Maybe we can get this paralyzed. That could be beautiful. Let's see how this one plays out here. So Thunder comes out. 100% accuracy. Sending it. Give me the paralyze. Give me the paralyze. That's all I want. Give me the paralyze. It's time to get the paralyze. We do. We go 0 for 2 on paralyze. That's, that's whack. That's whack. He's going to go after my Kyogre. Kyogre eats. That's big. Big, big, big. And we still might be able to outspeed. It's going to be kind of close. Is he going for another Water Spout? Or maybe an Origin Pulse here. Let's see what he does. He goes for a Water Spout. So both my Pokemon should be able to soak that, right? Let's go. That's two big soaks. That's two big soaks. Okay, so from here, I'm going to Mystical Fire onto that uh, Yvelta just to get it minus one. And I'm just going to I'm just gonna Thunder here. Thunder again. I might double down the Yvelta here. I think I might. I'm gonna double down the Yvelta. Doubling down the Yvelta. Kyogre might protect. Kyogre might protect. No one, no one I'm dropping thunders into him. It is not, but still. We double down into him. Mystical Fire's gonna come out here. We're gonna make this thing minus one. Lovely little minus one. Thunder's gonna poke out here. Give me the paralyze. It's time to get a paralyze. Don't go 0 for 3. 0 for 3 on paralyzes? What you mean? What you mean? Latias is able to eat. What's Kyogre going for? Kyogre's scaring me. Speed is boosted. Speed is boosted. And he's going to go for a water spell. We might be able to eat that up. Oh my god. Kyogre doesn't eat up. Uh, if we would have went for a thunder onto that. That could have been good. But we do not eat. He has one more turn left in Dynamax. He is minus one. Rain is gone. So that benefits us. That definitely benefits us. Oh my lord. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I do have Alex switch ready to roll. I do have ally switch ready to roll, and I think I am going to ally switch. Do I ally switch and take out... Who do I go after? I definitely want to ally switch. Who do I take out? Do I take out you? Or do I take out you? I'm going to take out you, Belta. I'm going to take out you, Belta, here. I went for a roar time. I know I did, but I had to. Because he's, uh... These flash cans, it, 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 they're not gonna, they're not gonna do the job. They're not gonna do the job. He's gonna go for Max Darkness. Going to Latias slot now. Beautiful. The great ally switch for us. 
We're able to soak up that last shot. Dude, that Kyogre is scaring me, man. It's that special defense drop, too. Oh, my God. I think we lost this one. I think we lost this one. More time's coming out here. This should KO, right? Beautiful. We KO, but we have to recharge. We have to recharge. It's weird that we're out speeding this Kyogre. What's up with this Kyogre? Why is it so slow? We can go for a water spout. We have to recharge this time. How much can we soak that? We can soak that pretty well. So we have to recharge here. We know we outspeed that. That's because of Tailwind, but Tailwind might end. Oh. Oh, that could be bad for us. If Tailwind ends next turn, I think we lose, right? If Tailwind ends next turn, I think we lose. Those two water spouts might, might be able to kill us. If Tailwind ends, I think we lose. Tailwind don't end. Tailwind don't end. I think Tailwind ends and we lose. Serene's doing us dirty. Tailwind is gone. Okay, Grass is gone too, so I was going to protect and maybe get off a... Uh, get some more HP back. Wow, dude, I think we lose this one. More time, get after us. Kyogre's going to outspeed us. And that, that, that water spot's going to do a bit more damage now. No way. No way! Eat this. Oh my lord, yo, what a battle for battle number three. Solid set of battles. We got one and two for today's video. Our two losses were definitely super close and could have went either way. Like I said at the end of the third battle, not too bad with this team. Went one and two and all around played well. Our two losses were super, super close. But I feel like in that third and final battle, if we would have targeted down the Kyogre instead of the Yveltos with the Thunders and the War Times, we probably would have won that battle. But it is what it is. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.